<laughs> Hello my fellow subscribers, how are we today? Sorry if I'm speaking a little bit funny today, I've been to the dentist and I got a filling and my mouth's all numb still but you know, it'll be alright I'm sure, I'm sure you can half understand me but yeah, today's video we're going to fit this radiator to the MR2 Some of you guys know I've sold my white RX-7 that's not its replacement, don't worry, that's my girlfriend's uh, pal's car but yeah, I'm starting to run out of cars, look the RX-7 I've got, that's actually Robert's with the Hatsumaira Oh, by the way, the bottom end's gone in that, so we're gonna have to get some shells We need a battery for the MR2 It's a fancy packaging, listen <sighs> Made in Korea There we go, that's the how to put a battery in an MR2 video done. Right guys, we'll catch you in the next one. <laughs> See if this battery that we got from Korea has got, it's got power anyway. Oh yes. This is way better than Rory. <laughs> so this radio got off the good old eBay. Looks nice, some nice pretty welds. Uh, I like this bit here, the bleed point, because these are an absolute nightmare to bleed. Um, yeah, these as well, so they've got like revved nuts, so it's like uh, proper steel inserts for uh, the radiator fan goes there. What we'll do is we'll start by uh, taking off some of the seals and stuff like that, and uh, probably take off the shuttle in, and uh, I'll get a jack and we'll jack up underneath and hopefully it's quite a straightforward job. You can see in here, this is like a bleed point. Um, obviously hold this up because the radiator's at the front of the car and the engine's at the back. It's a bit tricky, like I say, to get all the air out, but we'll give it a best shot. These guys were definitely a bit of a nightmare to get out. So uh, I don't really have much in the way of a technique to get them out, to be honest. I just sort of got a screwdriver and a pair of pliers I need two hands. Yep, it's a twist and pulley, twisty pulley sort of job. So underneath here we have a nice old rusty radiator. So uh, you can see here 10 mil bolts. Fuck it, really is rusty. Um, underneath here, these look like 12 mils. So we'll probably just get a wee impact gun and wrap them off. Not too bad condition. You probably do with a little paint. The paint would be nice. Right, so hmm, I might fire this off <coughs> just because it'd probably get in the way. Right, so uh, it would probably be a good idea if you marked exactly where this was. Uh, obviously, if that's the bonnet latch, but. Uh, I don't mind spending an extra sort of five minutes uh, making sure it's right. So, but yeah, if you mark it, you get yourself in a much better position. If I... that came easier than I thought, hmm, somebody been at this before. Whew. We're going under. Right, kids, always use an axle stand. Oh my God, she's minging. Look at that. So falling apart. These things happen. So I like to use an impact gun for everything Even putting butter on toast Right Fan, okay There she's down and up there you can see There's a clip Hey guys, here's a tip for you Jubilee clips, if they're all in the air Sorry, not jubilee clips, they're like spring clips But if these are all in the air If you use a set of these See the clip Themselves nice and open So gives you the sort of freedom to move it around and you don't like slip off and stuff and like smash all your knuckles. See? It's all off and it just stays there. Yeah. Now, I can keep out of the way, get a big screwdriver and push these off and this should come out. There's one. And I have seen some of these silicone hoses online. So you might want to get yourself some nice new silicone hoses if you want. 
Not so stupid parking on the drive now, is it? Yeah, <laughs> let's pull this out. Yeah, she's pretty toast. So if you look down here, that's been back and folded. So uh, yeah, it's had a wee repair, it's obviously burst at some point. Well, it is quite bad condition. This is like a copper, copper fin, and these are probably brass tubed, I'm going to say. Just need to stick this one in now. Make sure these are tight, and I've got a sensor. Another side here, to swap over. And I should say that was a 19mm. And this one here is a 24mm. Right guys, so uh, yeah, the O-rings don't seem to fit in this. And uh, I tried a, a copper washer. And to be honest, I didn't try it. I tried to fit one. But I don't have the right size. So, what I'm doing here and many of you will be frowning upon this is fitting some PTFE tape on the threads and up at the top and I know a lot of you are going to be like NO! This is, this is wrong! This is not good! I'll put an o-ring on it as well just for you guys, okay? But what we're talking here, we're talking coolant pressures around about a bar I would say about a bar, 1.1 bar, something like that so sure if I cross thread it enough it'll seal <laughs> Hmm, the washer idea is not gonna work Just PTFE it is then Plus, I like the saying that Gandhi once used If it works, it's not stupid Sure it'll work It is kinda stupid though Sweet, now we just need to get that up into here And you can see the wee rubber feet here Are on these rubbers here Let's get it up now this bit can be tricky if you're on your own actually but as you can see I've got this one on, nice this one here, get this one here now just kind of push down, I'll probably need two hands but yeah you're going to need both of these in before you manage to get the feet in I like to give them five or six ugga duggers A wee bit of red rubber greasing them because you know there's no rubber anywhere near them. So we are underneath again. Right, so get this plugged in. In the right way, Emma. Spin around. Ah, it doesn't click because I've probably already broken the clip for it to be honest. And here, look like you've got a fan. Yeah, it looks like a fan plug, and that's another one where the Back on. I'm gonna need two hands here, but you get the gist. There we go, lovely, lovely jubbly. So, uh, fun now, I suppose. Alright, one issue I found is this here isn't quite the right height. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna be able to push it down, but out the box, it's not the right height. So, uh, yeah. Not a biggie. Just like that. And yes, I'm sorry for using a stainless bolt and a steel piece. I know dissimilar metals don't like each other, but I'm sure we'll live. So next issue is this bleed point here. You can't actually turn it when the hose is on. <laughs> Not to worry, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off some of these lugs. Yep, it's not pretty, but now I can get this spun off. So that's now off, bottle of water, and I have put some coolant in here already, some red stuff. So I'll just try and balance this on my face while uh, probably pouring water all over the engine bay, that's how it usually goes. There she goes. Let's put that back on there then.
Hmm. Well, that looks like it may be her. Let's start up. Deaf life, one wheel peel. So, while that's kind of warming up and kind of bleeding everything through, I've also opened this one up here, this bleed point here, had to get off any air. Yeah, you can see here, it's fine. So, we'll let this thing warm up and I'm going to give this a clean up and put the panel back on. Right guys, all we'll do now is we'll take it for a little run and if you're lucky like me, nearby I've got a farm and it's got a really steep bank so it's hard for you guys to even tell how steep this is but the back end of my car is pointing in the sky Sheesh! She's good, I'll tell you that Driving about, can't get this thing right up to temperature so that's obviously the benefit of an ice aluminium radiator. The thermostat itself controls the actual temp so it's obviously just getting real nice uh, cool to try cool coolant to mix with. So uh, yeah happy with that. A fluffy mic. <laughs> it's, it's something to do. <laughs> That's Fraser he's coming along we're gonna have a wee play with his wee quad. Um, the Turbo Beast which is coming up soon. And uh, yeah, so I've tested it, I've run around the place and uh, I've got up to temp. Higgs happy, there's no leaks, so I'm gonna say that job done. And uh, yeah, no more leaking radiator. Can't wait to enjoy this thing on the back roads. Right guys, you take care, we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.